psychedelics are known for their mind-altering effect, about their mystical experiences and very colorful visions. But they're also known for their effect on the immune system and specifically on autoimmune disorders. Autoimmune disorders such as celiac disease, rheumatoid arthritis, Hashimoto's disease and even diabetes type 1. Just to understand what is an autoimmune condition or autoimmune disorder, it's a disorder when the body, the immune cells of the body, attacks other cells of the body. It recognizes them as pathogens instead of part of the body that it needs to be protected. So in a sense, we can say that an autoimmune disorder is where the system is not working properly and attacks itself. The interesting part that we know that psychedelics bind to the serotonin receptors, the 5-HT2A receptors, which are prevalent mostly in the brain, but also in the immune system, specifically in the T-cells, the dendritic cells, and macrophages. We don't exactly know what happens when they bind to these receptors. How does it affect the immune system? The assumption is that it reduces the effect or help to modulate it into a more proper and correct way. And by that, the idea is that it won't attack itself and solve the autoimmune disorder, at least for a short while, if not permanently. I have a cat here. We hear many different anecdotes about people with different autoimmune disorders that claim that psychedelics help mitigate or at least reduce the effect of their autoimmune issue. But the science is not there yet but it does tell us some things. So what do we know from the scientific perspective about psychedelics and autoimmune disorders? Immune cells have serotonin receptors such as T cells, macrophages and dendritic cells that also have receptors that basically can bind with the psychedelic substances such as magic mushroom, psilocybin or LSD or DMT. We also know that psychedelics has anti-inflammatory effect, which anti-inflammation and autoimmune issues are directly correlated, specifically with reducing effect or activity in pro-inflammatory cytokines. This is part of the immune system which generates inflammation in the body, both neuroinflammation and inflammation in the rest of the body. And there is enough research to back up the claim that psychedelics do reduce inflammation, basically they're anti-inflammatory, also by constricting the veins, but also because they reduce effect of cytokines. It sounds like amazing news when we think about it, especially for people with uh, uncurable autoimmune diseases. But we should avoid and not jump to quick conclusions and get the simplistic results, their simplistic approach. It doesn't necessarily mean that just taking psychedelics would cure your autoimmune disorder. It does mean that the ability to cure it and to change and shift perspective and to create some sort of reset into your immune system is more possible. This also links immediately to trauma and specifically young age trauma that is very related to autoimmune disorders. It does not say exactly, the science is not there yet, but there is enough research to show a link between trauma, specifically childhood trauma and autoimmune disorders. And we also of course know the connection between trauma and psychedelics to mitigate uh, PTSD. For more information and about the micro-movement method, follow us and get more informed.